Research refers to a systematic and scientific investigation of a problem or issue that aims to generate new knowledge or validate existing knowledge. It involves a structured and organized process of gathering and analyzing data to answer specific questions or solve problems. Research can be applied in various fields, including natural sciences, social sciences, engineering, and humanities, among others. There are several types of research. Pure research, or basic research, seeks to advance knowledge in a specific area, without a practical application in mind. It prioritizes fundamental principles, and concepts over practical problem solving. Pure research is undertaken to expand knowledge without any practical application. Astronomers, for example, study black holes to understand their properties, including how they form and interact with their surroundings. Although the discoveries made in pure research can later have various practical applications, the primary focus is on fundamental understanding. Applied research is aimed at solving practical problems in a particular field. It is often conducted with a specific application in mind and is focused on finding solutions to real-world problems. An example of applied research is the development of a new drug to treat a specific disease. Researchers might identify a biological target that is involved in the disease and develop a drug that can interact with that target to alleviate the symptoms. This research is focused on finding a practical solution to a real-world problem, namely the treatment of the disease. The findings from applied research in this field can lead to the development of new drugs that can improve the lives of patients suffering from the disease. Policy research gathers data to inform policy decisions, providing policymakers with evidence-based information. Its aim is to assess the effectiveness and impact of policies on specific populations or areas of concern. An example of policy research is a study assessing the effectiveness of a government program aimed at reducing poverty. Researchers would collect data on the program's impact, including the number of people who benefited from it, changes in poverty rates, and feedback from program participants. This information could then be used to inform policy decisions regarding the program's future funding and design. Policy research could also be used to evaluate the impact of economic policies, such as tax cuts or trade agreements, on specific populations or industries, helping policymakers make informed decisions about future policy changes. Action research is a research methodology that involves a cyclical process of planning, implementing, observing, reflecting, and modifying actions in a specific context. Its aim is to improve practices and address practical problems while involving the participation of stakeholders in the research process. The research process. It typically involves several stages, including identifying the research problem, which involves defining the issue or topic that requires further investigation. 2. Formulating research questions or objectives. This involves defining the specific questions or objectives that the research aims to answer. 3. Selecting an appropriate research method or methodology. This involves choosing the best approach to answer the research questions or objectives. 4. Collecting data. This involves gathering information through various methods, such as surveys, interviews, or experiments. 5. Analyzing data. This involves organizing, categorizing, and interpreting the data to draw conclusions. 6. Drawing conclusions. This involves summarizing the findings and making recommendations based on the results of the research. There are several key concepts in research. 1. Validity. This refers to the extent to which the research accurately measures what it is intended to measure. 2. Reliability. This refers to the consistency and stability of the research findings over time. 3. Sample. This refers to the group of individuals or objects that are studied in the research. 4. Population. 
This refers to the larger group of individuals, or objects, that the sample represents. 5. Bias. This refers to any factors, that may influence the research findings, in a particular direction, such as the researcher's beliefs or expectations. In essence, research is a process that requires critical thinking, creativity, and persistence. Through research, we can broaden our knowledge, and deepen our understanding of the world, around us. In next video, we will discuss, research questions, and objectives.